The last population census conducted in Nigeria was in March 2006, which put the country's population at over 140 million, with a total regular household of over 28 million. The census figures show that there were over 71 million males and over 69 million females, with more than 70% of the country's population said to be between 0 to 29 years of age. In 2006, Nigeria for the first time introduced the use of modern technology such as the optical mark recognition and intelligent character recognition systems into population sensors. Questionnaires were scanned through high-speed optical scanners which made data collection faster and more accurate than the data keen method that was used in previous census exercises conducted. But even that did not tackle call some of the contentions usually associated with population census in Nigeria, such as over counting and under coverage. But more sophisticated technologies have emerged. Two among these emerging technologies are the biometric technology, which involves the use of physical or behavioral human characteristics to digitally identify a person, and the distributed ledger technology, also known as blockchain, which is a database that stores encrypted blocks of data and experts say these can be used for population sensors. One key feature of the distributed ledger technology is that it is immutable. You cannot easily uh, change or manipulate uh, data that has been captured onto it because it's distributed along all the nodes in the system. Uh, and so there's a possibility for using it for sensors. For a country like Nigeria, where population is mostly used for political, economic and other benefits, experts say biometrics and blockchain can help increase confidence in the process. It will be difficult to alter the data. The situations where some regions may try to uh, manipulate the figures to their advantage will be eliminated. However, the National Population Commission says biometrics will not be used for the 2023 census. The United Nations does not allow uh, the use of uh, biometrics because um, it will be taking more of uh, some features of an individual when you start asking questions because uh, uh, taking the biometrics of that person reveals uh, so much about him, but we are into operating with um, an, an MC and other agencies, so we don't need to repeat what uh, they have done. But Mr. Quara assures of the Commission's readiness to conduct a credible census devoid of any political influence. We want Nigeria to have an accurate data that uh, we can really plan for our development. Currently in Nigeria, Biometrics are already been used for national identification number, NIN, voter's card, international passport, driver's license, and a biometric verification number, BVN, among others. In the public service, the distributed ledger technology is also being used for the Treasury single account. While there are gains for using these technologies, there are also challenges. There is need for us to actually ratify and commence the, immediately the implementation of the National Digital Literacy Framework. It requires a lot of power, you know, and uh, we'll be having power issues in the country. So that's another possible challenge that we're going to have. Although the use of modern technology has a great advantage, what Nigerians are however looking forward to is a population census that is credible, reliable and acceptable. Emperor Simon, Channels, Television News.